So, what are we up to today? We're actually having some fun in Zambo World. Fun is something that during the Corona lockdown we've not actually had a lot of. I don't know if you can see those. New phone thing. These knobs and buttons are the same as they knobs and buttons. But the difference between those knobs and buttons and those ones is that they're filthy. Oh. Already with the live Zambuka, they're filthy. And these ones have popped off and put in a bath of soapy water. And we've given them a clean. So I think this is the matrix section of the board. I've taken all the knobs off of that and taken all the knobs off of this and cleaned out 20 years worth of filth, gunk, crap and probably nicotine. Remember when I went into the studios when I was a kid, everybody smoked. It was constant. The relentless puffing of nicotine and tobacco. So we're going to clean the old scorpion up. Now, we had a friend around today, Sean Murphy. Sean from Vitamins. Real nice guy, real bright guy. He was a lighting designer. And I was talking to him about, we think we're going to have post and pre coronavirus post and pre what's that a little XTA number piles of drummers got some reverbs in the bottom we're going to have a post and pre coronavirus world so Sean come down with his mum and his dad Frank and Christine it was great to see them really really nice people Frank was a DJ before coronavirus. Sean was a lighting designer before coronavirus. Christine works in schools, so I think she might be a teacher. Seems to run in the, the, the Murphy family. So Frank started doing live podcasts, which I think is a great idea. We'll have to think of ways around about this. Sean's like me is quite snookered. You know, he can't he can't do lights at events, can he? I mean pff, events have been banned in school. And does the Kyle Main Fuhrer government have actually banned the music? Something I don't think even Adolf Hitler managed to get away with. So, the old tax and through the Tano Super Jewels, and it's got some nice analog amplifiers over there. I'm going to sing for you today, ladies and gentlemen. So, hello. Right. So, what, what we've got here? On output five, six, and seven, these knobs are two knobs and one. So auxiliary send one, two, three, fours in the bottom, then it goes five, six, seven, eight along the top. So when we do that, I'll be talking to the microphone. If we look over the channel, it says TCE M1XL. When I turn this up, we should get uh, some reverb, I think. I don't think I've ever sang in YouTube before, but there we go. So we'll turn that one down. Let's take this one up. I think they're all set to reverb. Whoa! That's a danger verb, not a reverb. Yeah, so Sean, ha, hey! Oh, and I've got that hooked into that XTA compressor as well. Hey, hey! Which I've never done that So Sean has diversified into, he's quite a geeky guy. He did an electronic engineering course in the at University. He started fixing things and stuff. There's a band in downstairs rehearsing just now. Yay. Dead order, they're very, very good. So Sean's started diversifying. He's repairing turntables, getting about amplifier manufacturing. So in the studio, control room. Again, I'm not used to this camera. Has came on leaps and bounds since my last update about three or four weeks ago. My physical health was terrible. Now, I don't know if I had coronavirus or whether there's just a paranoia, isn't there, that goes with this whole corona thing. Or whether it was para if, if, whether it was just paranoid. So, the studio was looking really, really good. The, the last thing I had to do in the control room was build a couple of posh bass traps. I seem to be obsessed with bass traps. Into this back corner. When I built them and started throwing the insulation in, I've realised that I've not made them wide enough. So I'm going to redo these and bring make them much bigger. So the, the bit at the bottom, I'll move this cardboard box away. 
that's a big base trap as well. It looks like a table, but there's fabric in the front of it, more live than will come. And as you can see, there's lots of various different bits of, uh, oh, six, five minutes, five minutes we talk crap. Carpet underlay, high density rock wheel, da 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 da. So I thought the place was finished. The big base traps running about the windows look fantastic. They're all loaded up with rock wheel. So it's, uh, the, the, the double dunter I was after. Actually, I worked out in my favour. The building's now very, very easy to heat with these little electric fires. You can only put it on for half an hour or so in the place is roasting. And the base response in the room is fantastic. Now, my pride and joy were these things. I've had them for about 20 odd years. They were rebuilt in the Tannoy, Tannoy factory. I used to, Tannoy was based in Coatbridge in Scotland. And I had a great relationship with them. Fantastic place. It's not there anymore. So I've had it for 20 odd years. Best any speakers I've ever made, in my humble opinion. They don't generate a lot of bass, but very, very accurate things. One of them is farting. I don't know who did it, but you have no idea how angry I am. The idea of the whole building was to build it round about that set of speakers. So I don't know how I'm going to get them fixed. Yeah, Tannoy doesn't exist in Copenhagen anymore. Behringer bought them over and shut the place down. Just now, I've put in a pair of these real, really old, you can't see them. You see that one? The old Sherman Cubs, made by an English manufacturer. That's, a ter that's terrible, isn't it? So the base driver's a 12-inch ATC, then it's an Audax 6, and I retrofitted a pair of JBL Unico bullets into the tweeters, because the tweeters were blowing them, and they actually sound fantastic. Got a little Tannoy sub going on over there. And all the digital multi cores have been done to link the studios together. So hopefully we can start recording quite soon. The guys next door, there's my bass. The guys next door are some of the hardest working musicians I've ever heard in my life. They're fantastic, absolutely amazing players. So hopefully I'm going to use them as something to experiment on to get all the lines working in the studio and double check everything's working in that. So. I'm sorry I've not did an upload in a while. As I say, my physical health was pretty crap. My mental health was absolutely terrible. I'm feeling a bit better now, but still, I've not achieved anywhere near what I wanted to achieve. But, I mean, this wee room, it, it, sounds, it sounds fantastic, you know. So, got a little bit more work to do. And hopefully the next time I put a wee ranty video up, it'll be me... It'll be me, uh, what do you call it, getting my head around about how that mixing desk works and recording stuff and things. So, there's, that's my bass. How can I do this? Should I play a bit of bass for you? I'll play a little bass, a bit of bass then. I don't even know if the microphone is in the camera. Oh. I don't think I'm doing a lot of upgrades because my life's been pretty boring. The little Sherman's because I've given off that old H&H &H amp in the middle of it. I bought that years and years and years ago. It's only 150 watts or something. 250 watts, but I think it runs classy for the first 50 or 60 of them. Now this thing's absolutely remarkable. It's remarkable as that old tack desk. desk. I've never repaired it. I've blown the crap out of it a few times, but that must be 30 40 years old, it still works fine. So, the last thing we do before we go is <coughs> my knob cleaning technique. So, these are the knobs off the tack, and put them in a cup full of soapy water. And we get them a little slush, a little slosh, and a little paintbrush. And hopefully when I come back to these things tomorrow, 40 years worth of nicotine and dirt will come off. Alright, so, you've came to expect the usual, that's 10 minutes and we talk about that. Should I say thanks for watching another riveting episode of Road Zam Dog Television, da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I hope you're all safe and sound out there. Oh, one last thing, I should script this a bit more, shouldn't I? I should, uh, 
Right, let's go through. My sister, who I love dearly, isn't convinced with the whole coronavirus thing. Now, my take on it is, say nothing for the next year, analyse some data, then put in your top and so forth. She recently went on a, a anti-mask mar march in London. She lives in England, and I think the city's maybe 60 or 70 miles from the house. Which, I mean, all credit to her, good on you, you know. However, her daughter, uh, Sarah, my niece, who I love dearly, contacted my wife during the week to say she's tested positive for coronavirus. So for all the tinfoil hat David Icke wizard, lizard worshippers out there, give yourself a break, you know, this thing is it's absolutely, it, it, it is real. How bad it is, I don't know how bad. There's no bodies piled up in the street and we're not burning human beings on a funeral pyre. But for goodness sake, box cover. Wearing a, a paper mask and washing your hands, it's not really the end of the world, is it? I mean, I, I've lost my entire, as many people have, including Sean and, as I say, Frank Murphy, that we're down today. I've lost just about everything because of it. I've had to refocus and try to redo other things, you know, hopefully. Doing the recording will get me out the, the uh, rut that was in. So, again, yeah, you know, box cover. You're, everybody's welcome to their opinion, everybody's welcome to think what they want, watch whatever YouTube videos they want, you know, my, my own take on it is, I wear a mask when I go in shops, I'm, I'm not bothered, if it's a real thing, it's definitely a real thing, my niece has just picked it up and she's a real person, you know, uh, but if me wearing a mask makes other few people feel a bit more comfortable when they're out and about, is it that much to ask? I mean, I do spray painting as a hobby, and there's no way I would be near half of these substances without wearing the pro uh, appropriate personal protective equipment. So there you go. Longest video I've ever made. Crappiest video. Well, they're, 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 you've got so, so many to choose from. That's a scorpion. It's an old day mech mixing test. There's not a lot of headroom in it, but it does sound quite good. What would happen if we put up all the, all the reverbs? Probably sound real terrible, it's okay. Bye bye, YouTube. <laughs> bye bye.